Hello folks, Dustin here with Cassidy's Adventures. Uh, today we are coming at you with another review. This time we are doing the Haikunt FF400 Solar Light. Um, I was kind of looking for me a light for around camp so I could light it up at night. And Haikunt reached out to me and sent me one of these for a review. Um, so we're going to go over some specs and whatnot about this and... And uh, tell you what I think about it. We'll see if it is Zinger approved. First things first, let's show you what's in the box. Okay, folks, so here's what comes in the box. This is the box. You can see, made in China, as with most things are these days. All right, in the box. First thing you'll find is the solar panel. We also have some hardware. There's the solar panel and the cord. And then we'll have the light. We have some brackets here for the solar panel so you can mount it where you like. And then we have the light. There is the light with its cord attachment for the solar panel. And this here, you have your sensor right here, and it also has uh, some lights. These light up red and green. Uh, they blink whenever it's charging, and then the green light lights up whenever it's charged. And you also have a remote. So that that's pretty much what's in the box. So let's start going over just a few of the specs and what I think about it. Okay, folks, so what I was saying here before, this is the Haikunt FF400 Solar Light. It has 242 LED lights in it. It is pretty darn bright. Um, I forget the lumens. I can try to look it up and put it on the screen. Um, it is a six volt battery and it's supposed to be a 48,000 milliamp hour. It says uh, in the information online that it will run uh, 12 to 14 hours on a full charge. Um, you can actually just set this out in the sun, just hook it up, set it out in the sun and charge it and carry it and use it, which is what I do uh, when I'm camping and whatnot. Um, it comes with brackets and everything to mount everything solid. It turns out to be a little bit big for what I was intending on. I didn't expect it to be this big. It's about 10 inches tall. It's about 13 inches wide. You know, a couple inches thick. Uh, but yeah, it's got, got the bracket on the back with some different mounting spots. It's got a, like an 8 or 10 foot cable. So you can mount them a little bit apart. Um, as I was saying before, it has these red and green lights down here. <clears throat> this is a solar panel. It is supposed to be a 15 watt solar panel. There's the cord and the connection. It just has these little barrel connectors. Connect them like so. Room. As you can see, this lights up. The thing is still fully charged. That's what this green light's for. It's fully charged. But it still works without the solar panel being hooked up. See? It comes on by itself when you unplug it. Um, it has this decent remote here. Um, it's got... I'll see if I can get closer. Yep, there you go. You can see the several different things it has. It has different radar modes and whatnot, which is like a motion detector. It'll dim itself down really dim until it sees something walk in front of it. 
and then it'll brighten back up. From what I understand, this is um, like Ourage. I will say that the book is not very explanatory when it comes to how all this stuff works. You just got to kind of guess. Like this says three plus three, it's three hours on and then three hours of radar time from what I understand. And it's got a whole bunch of different numbers. And it's got six hours or eight hours on. And then this is the plus and minus to, to dim and brighten the light. Um, I'll go ahead and turn it on for you. I don't know if you'll be able to tell anything, but that is the dim and it has five different brightnesses. Fingers getting it. There's a second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one, and then it will blink telling you that that's all the way one way or the other. Um, it is decently bright. I will put a little video in here where I tested it the first time at camp to show the brightness and some of the dimming functions of it. Uh, I'll put that in right here. All right, first night test with the Haikunt FF400 solar floodlight. I have not used this at night yet. And I've only turned it on briefly in the daytime just to check the function on the remote. I believe I have it on a dim setting this time. So here is what the dim setting looks like at night. Move the camera just a little bit. Oh, that's pretty bright. Let's go ahead and turn the brightness up. Yeah, that's not too bad. I actually think I can see the river out there. Um, these bushes are about 30 foot ahead of me. That's a pretty wide field of view. Puts off quite a bit of light. Let's dim it down again. One, two, three, four. Yep. So we got dim, one setting, two. There's four different brightnesses. By golly, that's not too bad. All right. I don't know what you guys thought about that, but it's decent. I will say that you have to be standing directly in front of this thing for the remote to work. It don't work like from the side or the back or anything. You have to be directly in front of it for it to work. And it's supposed to work out to 40, 50 feet, something like that. It says 20 meters. I I speak in inches and feet. <laughs> But uh, overall, it seems to be a pretty decent light. It's pretty bright, like I said, with the solar and everything. Um, if you're looking for a smaller uh, solar light for around your shop, or even if you want to take it camping, it's, it's just a little bit big for what I'm thinking. But it does work uh, and brighten the campsite up pretty bright. Uh, it's not too bad. Uh, look them up. I'll have a link in the description for this. It's the Haikunt FF400. Let me know what you guys think about this. Thanks.